Hey friends, it's your boy SVH coming at you with today's Bolasaki by Hazrat Nayak Khan for May 11th, 2024. God communication is the best communication that true spiritualism can teach us. And um, I thought this was really fitting for today. I, I got to get out and take a hike um, and uh, spend some time up in the, in the hills. And um, I got a message from one of my friends uh, that he was out celebrating his, his, um, his girlfriend that recently had passed. Um, today would have been her birthday and he was out doing a hike and uh, after spending a day at the beach that they used to go to. So we were talking back and forth and talking about animals and things like that. And, uh, you know, I rounded the corner shortly after a, a message was sent back to him talking about animals and talking about being on the trail and everything. And um, I came around the corner, saw two coyotes. I thought it was really cool. Uh, took a picture of them and sent them back to him. And, um, but, you know, just for me, being out in nature is that real God communication um, when you can really feel the, the warmth of the sun on your face, um, you know, you feel the wind against your body, you feel that your feet, you know, walking on the gravel or the dirt, um, or in the grass, you know, it's just, there, there's, there's such a profound feeling to it for me, um, that I feel really in tune with God. I feel really like I'm communicating with God when I'm out there, uh, in nature. And uh, there's a lot of other areas where we commune with God, right? So in meditation, in prayer, um, in, in, in many moments throughout the day, there's an opportunity to uh, commune with God, right? To have God communication. But a lot of times we just, uh, we put that out of our, our minds, right? We're too busy doing other stuff. We got other things going on and we think of God communication as, you know, some formal act that we have to do. But really just taking a breath and acknowledging, hey, I took another breath, thank you. You know, that's a that's God communication right there. Um, realizing when, when you're looking at something and seeing the beauty and witnessing the beauty in it, that God is seeing that beauty through you because we're connected and he sees through our eyes. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways um, that uh, we can experience this communication with God throughout the day. And um, that is, you know, what true spiritualism is and what it can teach us. Um, people say I'm spiritual. What does it mean to be spiritual, right? Well, um, it means to walk in a spirit of godliness or walk in a spirit of trying to reach God or achieve a higher consciousness or a higher state of being, um, to be a better person, to live your life um, with a clean conscience and uh, in purity of heart. Um, these are all, you know, really the goals of spiritualism and all of that comes through communication with God um, and realizing that God is in all things and everywhere. So pretty much everything that you interact with is an opportunity for God communication. Uh, but you have to see God in it and you have to re recognize God's hidden hand in all things in order to, to really enjoy that. So, um, yeah, there's just a couple quick thoughts that I had on today's Bolasaki. Um, really nice one. God communication is the best communication that true spiritualism can teach us. So there you have it, my friends. Hope you had a good day and I'll catch you back with another one tomorrow.